you'll be greeted by our wonderful office staff. Let's meet our fabulous office ladies. Here's the first person you might see. Look at her, she's getting ready. She knows how to greet you with her new normal, her mask. Hi, I'm Carol Ming. Uh, welcome to James Duke Elementary. I work mainly with student registration, student enrollment, and attendance. And we're glad you're all going to be with us. Let's see who you'll see next. Hi, Vicki Family. I'm Cindy Quinn. I'm the secretary. Um, going to be an interesting year this year. We won't be seeing too much of you right now, but we'll be thinking about you, and we're always here for you if you need us. And when you come over here, this is who you'll see. Good morning. I'm Jen Cal, and I'm also here at Clerk in the office. I do specialize with the preschool special ed program here on site, but I am always here to help in any way I can. We look forward to seeing you eventually. All right, everybody. And then as you go forward, why do you come to school? It's crayons to college. We are preparing you for college and career readiness. Welcome to James McKee. Welcome back, James McKee. It's August. Welcome back, McKee. Welcome back, everybody. We've missed you. Let's get ready for a great year. Welcome back to School McKee Bears. I'm so excited for this new school year. I can't wait to see your smiling faces on August 13th. This is going to be a different school year, but we can do this. Hi, welcome back James McKee kids. This is Mrs. Anderson, excited for my first graders. Hi, welcome back Bears. Let's get this party started. Hi, Mrs. Hancock here for third grade. Welcome back Bears. Welcome third grade bears. Hi class, I can't wait to meet my new third grade bear cubs. This is Mrs. Garcia here and we'll be starting on August 13th. We'll see you then. Welcome back James McKee Bears. Hello, I'm Mrs. Larson and I'm teaching fourth grade here at James McKee. Looking forward to meeting all my families and my fourth graders. Live long and prosper. Hey everybody, this is Mrs. Salas. I'm your fourth grade teacher this year and I'm looking forward to having a great year with you. Hi, this is Mrs. Hepworth. Welcome to fourth grade. Let's get excited for learning. Hi, this is Mrs. Peterson. We can't wait to see you. Welcome to fourth grade. Hi, it's Miss Parker here. I wanna welcome you back to school and I teach fifth grade here at James McKee and looking forward to seeing you. And with me, I have... I'm Mr. Valdez. I'll be co-teaching with Miss Parker this year. So have a great weekend and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome back, McKee family. We can't wait to see you all again soon. In the meantime, please stay safe, stay happy and stay healthy. Hey everybody, it's Mr. Maltby from the bunker in an undisclosed location hold up, taking care of any problems that might come up here in the near future. Ready for distance learning. If there's any issues, we'll get them fixed. Hang tight. Stay with us. We'll be there. Have a good one. Welcome to James McKee. I'm so excited that you're here. Let me introduce myself. I am Principal Freeman, and I'm going to introduce our new VP, Rob Aikman. He will be joining you in just a few minutes, and he'll share some personal information about himself. Those of you who are new to McKee, I am so excited that you're here. We're all welcoming you in to the McKee Village. For those of you who are returning to us, we're so glad to finally see you, even if it is virtually. We have our new normal now. So we're starting this thing called distance learning. And how is that going to be different than what we did in the spring? I want to assure you that between then and now, we have learned a lot of new things as a teaching staff. You will find that in the spring, we wanted to make sure you got connected. So we made sure you had Chromebooks and you had hotspots. We also wanted to make sure that you knew how to navigate the platforms. So we spent a lot of time, mostly in the technical difficulties. This time when we gather together for distance learning, you're going to find that we have now at 
uh, have high expectations for us to get back into school academically. So your teachers are going to be talking to you specifically about their scheduled day. I'm going to share a generic schedule in just a few minutes. But what is distance learning and what is it not? Distance learning is not just open up a laptop, sometimes checking in, doing a few assignments. That's not what distance learning is. Distance learning just means your teacher and the student are not in the same building. But it is still school. And so school expectations will apply this new year. It is also synchronous and asynchronous learning. And what does that mean? Synchronous learning is simply we're all together learning everything at the same time. All students and the teacher in the classroom on a Zoom lesson at the same time. Asynchronous learning is when we take a few students in a small group and we teach them something or we reteach them something. Or perhaps it's just the teacher and one student doing some assessments together or taking some more extra time together to make sure that the student has everything that they need. That's asynchronous learning. And then we have some independent learning time. Well, what is that? Independent learning time is simply you're not with the teacher, but the teacher has assigned work for the student to do. And it is expected that the student will complete the work and have it available the next time that they are together online in a synchronous learning environment. So again, we have distance learning, we have synchronous learning, we have asynchronous learning, and independent learning. And I want you to be very familiar with those terms. Distance learning will require parents to be really particular about setting up a place in the home or at a daycare where students can be organized, have expected routines, and that they can fully engage in the learning. It is expected that students will attend their Zooms on time, complete the work, stay engaged the entire time that they're online with their teacher, and do independent learning and return work in a virtual environment as expected by the teacher. So what is a day in the life of a student who participates in distance learning? Well, you should have received a copy of the schedule. And if you haven't, it is also on our school website as well as the district's website. The teachers also have a schedule for their day that they will be sharing with you. But in general, Mondays, school starts 8 o'clock in the morning. Students are expected to be in a synchronous environment, meaning all together, all at the same time. And they will have some collaborative work, some focused instruction, some guided instruction, and maybe some intervention during that time. They will end their day on Monday at 12 o'clock. This is considered an early out day for the students. And so at this point of the day, the students will not engage with the teachers in the afternoon. Tuesday through Friday, students will again be online in the mornings starting at 8 o'clock. Remember, distance learning just means you and I are not in the same room, but we are ex both expected to be online every day at 8 o'clock. From 8 to 12, the, student ha the teacher has designed lessons for the students, should be working with a group of students, with all students, and sometimes you'll have your PE teacher, your computer teacher also drop in to prepare to give lessons to the students as well. Students are expected at all times to remain online until the teacher has said it's time for school to be over. In the afternoons, students will be working asynchronously with their teacher, which means the teacher will be contacting groups of students and small groups to work on some independent learning with the students, well, some work together independently with the, with the teacher, or the teacher could be, especially the first few weeks of school, assess the students one-on-one -on -one so they can ascertain where your students are, and they can then plan remaining lessons for the rest of the trimester. Kinder students the same thing applies. Monday through Friday, you are expected, whether you're a.m. or p.m., to be online at 8 o'clock in the morning. You will end your day, <clears throat> and if you are, um, you are end your day every day around 12 o'clock. 
Mondays, again, are early outs as well. It's important for parents to remember the expectation for school, Monday through Friday, 8 to 12. That's like being in school all day. Parents also, you'll hear Mr. Aikman talk about attendance in just a few minutes. It is important that if your child is not able to go online on any particular day, you will need to contact the school office. Just like you would if you were calling in an absence on a regular in-person school day. That is how you will clear any absences. So I've talked about what distance learning is, what it's not. I've described some terms for you. I've described the school day. The other way you want to stay connected in this particular new normal is to make sure that you're connected to Parent View. Many of you already are. Some of you have picked up your Parent View applications or your activation codes with your distribution pickup day. If you haven't already followed the directions on that paper, you will want to get connected right away. If you have forgotten your password, you simply need to go to the district's website and find Parent View and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and it will tell you, I forgot, forgot password. You click on that and you'll assign yourself a new password to get reconnected. Remember, also, you can go to our website or our Facebook page to stay connected to important news for you. I'm sending out various emails and I try to make sure that I stick to one or two topics in each email. Please make sure you stay connected to those emails. We have the correct contact information for you. You also, parents, need to make sure that you know how to go to the student portal and that you're familiar with the different types of things your students will be asked to do. If you have um, issues with troubleshooting your Chromebooks or you need parent view tips, we have that information also on our school website page and you can go to the district's website page. Now I've covered a lot of new things and your teachers are going to delve into more detail about what you can expect this school year from them. Mr. Aikman is going to now cover attendance, distance learning expectations, using that positive choices that kids are already familiar with. He's going to talk to you a little bit about how we intend to continue to work with our English learners. Good evening, McKee families. This is Rob Aikman here. I'm the new vice principal for this year. I'm split twice, or I guess I'm split 50% here and 50% at Robert J. Fite Elementary School. The plan is to be here on Thursdays and Fridays, and I'll be at Fight on Mondays and Tuesdays, and I'll be switching every other Monday. I look forward to seeing all of you on campus. Now, you're probably wondering who I am. Uh, this is my fourth year in the Elk Grove Unified School District. Before that, I used to teach down in Turlock, California, and then I was out in Albuquerque, New Mexico for a while teaching, and decided to come back here to my roots and wanted to be a vice principal. I have a I guess he's 10 now. He's a fifth grader getting ready to start. He's uh, looking forward to distance learning, I'm sure, like every other one of you out there watching this as well. I got three things I'd like to talk to you about this evening. The first is attendance and how important attendance is. Um, we need to make sure that all students are logged in and ready to go at 7.55 every morning. Teachers are going to start at 8 o'clock with Google Classroom and Zooms and Google Slides, Google Meets, whatever it is they're using, whatever platform, it will be starting right at 8 o'clock. So please make sure you are logged in, ready to go. If you are not going to be on for a day, you need to make sure you let your teacher as well as the office know. It's just like school during regular times when you are on campus. You need to have a note if you are missing out. If you've gone to see the doctor, please make sure it's emailed to us or it's dropped off so we know what's going on. We want to make sure that you are here and ready to go every time. If you are not here for a couple of days, you're not logging in, and that's what I mean by here, logging on, interacting with your teachers, we want to know what's going on. So you'll probably get a letter from the district, um, whether that's because you're tardy or because you're just not showing up or there's too many excused absences or something we call truancy where you're just not choosing to log on then uh, you'll probably get a knock on your door for myself and uh, the principal, Ms. Freeman, will probably come on over and we'll see what's going on. We want to make sure everything is fine. So remember, 755 
every single morning and you're going to be going from 7.55 until 12 o'clock Tuesdays through Fridays and from 7.55 until 11 o'clock on Mondays and you're going to be Zooming and Google Classroom that entire time. So be ready, make sure that you're doing it. Second thing I want to talk to you about is our uh, addition to our PBIS matrix. I know you've seen them all around campus using our pause on our expectations on what we're supposed to be doing, whether it's in the computer lab, in the library, in the restrooms, out on the playground. Well, we're adding a new section to it. It's for distance learning. And there's going to be three areas that we need to focus on. The first is your workspace at home and how it fits into all four of our pause domains. Next is going to be the digital citizenship that you're going to demonstrate. And then finally, the last one is the positive attitude you need to have towards distance learning. So you're going to be getting more information from that. It's going to be coming out from your teacher as well as some uh, emails from the school. I just want to make sure that you are aware of it. These are the expectations that we have for everyone for distance learning. The last thing that I want to talk about is our English learners that are on campus. We have a number of students that are working really hard to master the English language. And so I want to offer a few things to you. Being the vice principal, you are one of my prime responsibilities. I run what's known as the ELAC. It's the English Language Advisory Council. And I want to have all of your representation. I want to hear your voice. So students and parents of students that are learning English, please come on out and help. Let me know what works for you what things you would like to see because I want to make this the most welcoming and responsive place for you as possible so a couple of things that I want you to know for distance learning is that we are still gonna have ELD that's English language development and it's gonna be 30 minutes every day Monday through Friday so teachers are working out their schedules how it's going to happen but if you are an English learner teachers are going to be taking care of you for that 30 minutes workbooks are going to be going home uh, probably you'll be getting one or two workbooks to start and then if we need to get more because our distance learning is going longer we'll have another pickup but those workbooks are going home those of you that are newcomers so you're recent to the country and so your English is it's getting you know better but you need a little bit more help we've got some software that you're going to use it's called imagine learning and uh, I'll make sure I reach out to you as well as family so we can get that downloaded for you so you can use it at home because it's a great tool that you can use. The next thing I want to talk about is the e, uh, the LPAC. Sorry. The LPAC is our English Language Proficiency Assessments of California. Normally we do a test every spring and this past spring because of our distance learning that happened because of the pandemic, we didn't get to do it. If we come back onto campus, we're going to have to do those tests this fall. So it's a one-on-one -on -one test. It can't be done over Zoom. We have to do it in person. So once school starts, we'll start booking those in and getting them ready. But right now, we won't be doing those assessments. We will have what's called a screener where teachers are going to work with you as well as maybe some other staff members will be doing some uh, Zoom work with you to see where you are at to help teachers when they're putting work together for you. But we won't be doing those LPAC testing yet. And the last thing is, is I want you to come out for ELAC families. Make sure that you are there. I know I said it at the beginning of this ELAC talk. I'm saying it again because I want you to feel a part of the school and that your voice is going to be heard. So with that, I'm going to let you get off to your teachers because I know they've got some fantastic things planned for this back to school night. And I wanted to say thank you and welcome everybody back to McKee. I just want to say thank you so much for all you're doing to support your child in this new normal, this distance learning environment. I also want to say thank you so much for extending support with your teacher. They've worked really hard over the last time that you saw them in person and now. They've really worked hard on lesson planning. They worked collaboratively to pl plan a good schedule for your child. And they're hoping that you and them will have good communication to keep your students engaged. We hope that you have a great start to the 2021 school year. And now, it's time for your teachers. Thank you, everyone. Have a great evening. Hey, remember when I said that uh, we might have some mistakes and it's okay, we'd fix them? Well, I found one in the video. Mrs. Freeman said a different time than Mr. Aikman said. So I wanted to clarify the times at which you are going to be online distance learning. 
Every day of the week, Monday through Friday, you are to be on your Chromebook at 8 o'clock, not 8.01, not 8.05. You are to be there at 8 o'clock. That means you probably need to log in before then. On Mondays, you will go until 11. Tuesday through Friday, you're going to go until 12. So every day, 8 o'clock. Mondays till 11, Tuesdays through Friday till 12. Hope this clarifies. Oh, one other thing, kindergarten. When you get started, you are going to go from 8 o'clock until 11.20 every day. Okay? From the bunker, signing off. Mr. Maltby here.